Hey everybody, it's Jay Day Shimoga here. I'm here with another video. Um, but this video, I'm actually going to show you guys this method that I've been using to get leads for whatever, actually. Uh, I've been using it to get leads for my graphic design company and actually had a client that actually um, was finished with a great animation for her. Um, and also used it to get leads for my Love Rewards uh, opportunity as well as other opportunities. Now, I'm going to actually show you is through Craigslist. And you just know you have to pay for anything. Uh, only thing that you have to do is have an account with Craigslist. That's it. Um, we'll go ahead and just dive right into it. The first one, uh, what I want to show you first now is through Craigslist search. Now, if you go on Craigslist, you will be able to see. Let me go ahead and log in. You'll be able to see all the um, the ways you can search for different things on Craigslist. And I'm going to show you exactly what you can do so that way you can get these search results to be sent to you. So we'll go ahead and go to Craigslist, click on the, click on the actual tab that's if you were to search for something. So then you would come down here and we would search for, say we're looking for, you can do jobs if that's what you want to do, um, but I'll start with gigs. And usually what I'll do is from there I'll look for either work from home to start off just to get you an idea. Okay. Um, and these are actually people who are present providing or sending something. So what I'll do in that case, go back, go to resumes. Because these all these people have actually have opportunities that they're trying to give you guys. So we'll go to resumes. Now this is where people are looking for jobs, looking for opportunities. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is come up here and now we'll type in work from home. Okay. Now it says individual seeking remote work from home job. So you click on this. No, well, actually you wouldn't click on it, but you can click on it to get an idea of what they're looking for specifically. So click on it. Okay. Alright, cool. So they don't all do MCA, which is cool, but they are open to other opportunities. So as you can see, you get this list here, right? Now what you'll do, you come up here, and you hit save search. Now once you do that, you'll actually see this whole list of, of uh, well, it'll be a more list that you create. Because if you just not starting off, you have only the one. But the ones that you create, and as of right now, this is the one that I've been searching. Right here, work from home. And I have another work from home, but that's in South Florida. This one is in the, in the area that I'm in now for Atlanta, Georgia. And as you can see, these are the hits that it gets. So it got 39 hits. And the one that's uh, for looking, that one got 352 hits. So you can get an idea. You can actually search these yourself if you want to and put them in your area and type in these search terms so that you can get these, these hits. Now, of course, you want to make sure that you can get a site that has a, uh, a search for a term that has a good amount of hits with it. Otherwise, you're kind of wasting your time. And also, once you put these up here, make sure that you hit on so that way you can activate them. Now, once that's activated, what is going to happen is every time somebody post, makes a post, they're going to come to your page. And as you can see right here, I just created this, right? So it's brand new. So now that I did that, this is going to send me the list of everybody that we, that's looking for looking for a work from home opportunities. You see here is that same link that was up here. Now the way that I have been going about and actually and actually um, respond to these is what I'll do is I'll come to my set. I'll usually have on my memo pad on my phone or something. I usually have an opportunity, uh, a, the link there so people can actually go through and sign up for whatever opportunity I'm, pro I'm providing them. So this one actually would be um, for love rewards. So I'll come back up here. I copy that. Then I go to this guys right here. And open up another tab. Now this is usually better for me um, on my phone. So I might make another video for that just so you guys can see how that works on the phone. 
click reply then now once you do that uh, you click that or you can click Gmail which will open up another Gmail tab Now, the thing with this, because I'm logged in in like several different accounts, so mine might go into like another account for go from another account that I didn't expect, which could be okay because as long as they go to the capture page, I'm fine. The capture page is really all I wanted to see. So I'm just gonna just for the purpose of the video. So that's posting. Wait for this to come up. I'm like working on several different things right now. Should have kept my now. It's probably because it's waiting for the other tab to click the link that I had clicked on. And there it is. So now you can actually use this method as well if you wanted to, but because I don't have the one that I normally would use on here, I'm not gonna use it. But as you can see, this um, this is with Mozilla Thunderbird. You can actually all you got to do, you can connect your Gmail to it, and you can click on it and use it for all your emailing purposes. And then you can just select whatever one you want to use up here. So what I'll do since I'll have, I still have this up here, and this hasn't the Gmail hasn't come up yet. Um, I will go ahead and paste my information here, and then from there. I can actually either delete or keep that. Now it all depends on what works best. And then send. And of course, I got this set up so I can send it now. Should send it. I haven't used this method in a minute. And if it doesn't send, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and go back to the Gmail to get that activated. But um, that's two videos I need to go ahead and and and, and fix or remake just so that you guys can see that. So let me go ahead and get off of this. Click on Gmail one more time. There's so much stuff up here. Makes no sense. See that? All that. And if that doesn't go as quickly as I would like what I will do in that case go to my gmail account on my phone or you can also use this method so you can copy this email and then create yourself a different um, email let me see we had one up here What else are you looking for? Work from home, right? So we can create one. We can create one, okay? And you can use the same message to forward. So I'm gonna show you guys how you do that as well. Okay, so then I'll copy his email, then I'll put looking for a legit work from home opportunity then well I don't want to paste that again but uh let me see what was the one I was looking for right here come here paste that there watch this video okay then click send now we'll go back to set you see it's still it's still loading it's probably gonna got a lot of stuff on you so I'm not gonna worry about that right now 
you see there is right there okay that way I already have the email and then what also what else you can do if you're sending them an email directly you can do it like this saw your Craigslist post about looking for work Still interested? Put that there. Then we get the next person. Okay. Uh, let's see. Click on inbox. Get the next one. And you want to make sure that you send the people who are actually looking for this. You don't want to send it to anybody, okay? And then I have other ones because I have one set for looking. Like this one right here. It was three days ago. So we we'll click on hers. Now, as possibility she might be interested, the possibility she might not be interested. So, all you can do is if she's not saying specifically she's not trying to do any work from home or anything like that, then go ahead and send it because she still could make some money with this opportunity. Or you can use her number and text her as well. So, this is this still a great way to get leads through Craigslist without having to make posts. They're still interested or still looking. Still, still looking. And then hit send. Oh, delete this because that's not from hers. And then you can delete a few things to make it uh, to see where it gets the most hits. That's usually what I usually do too. If I make a certain amount of posts, like say I use the same post right here. And I make it send out to like 10 different people. And I don't get enough posts. I don't get any replies within the next two days. I will change up certain aspects of it to see if I can get some act, some activity on the next couple of days when I already post it. So there's a lot of things you can have to do, try out different things to see what works best for you. So that way you can maximize your um, your ability and your capabilities when it comes to marketing. So that way you also get a better idea of what people are looking for. So just try this method out. Let me know what you guys think. And um, if you have any questions or need any help, just definitely let me know. And I'll help you guys out as much as I can. Uh, I'm gonna make this one with the caps. And then that's it. And it's sent. Now, all I can do is send out some more of these. What I would say if you want to do any of these. If you want to do any of these, send out about 10. And if you want to say you want to send out to somebody else the same message, then come out here, forward. Delete this, this into the first message. Add them right here. Then hit send at the bottom. That's it. It's just that simple. And if you have, again, just hit me up if you have any questions. I'll see you guys on the next video. All right?